Hey everyone, this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Litterverse. So I've tagged myself on this one. With this tag, we get to play with the colors on our bookshelves. So welcome to the Rainbow Spines tag. Fallen Words by Yoshihiro Tatsumi. I'm terrible and have not read this book yet. Though the front and back covers do not contain quite a lot of color, the spine does stand out when compared to my other graphic novels. Coke Machine Glow by Gordon Downey. Non-Canadians will likely not know who this is. Gordon Downey is the lead singer of a Canadian rock group, The Tragically Hip. This book of poetry is a companion to his first solo album. There are not many brightly colored poetry collections. And how how could you miss this one on the Canadian poetry shelf? <laughs> Diary by Chuck Palahniuk. I reread this book only a few weeks ago, and it's definitely my second favorite Polonic novel. Right after Fight Club, of course. This one's interesting for its meditation on the connection between artistic output and pain. And the lovely yellow spine fits the criteria today. Parley's Balloon Travels by Peter Parley. Fact, I collect old books. This book dates back to about 1860. This one's about a man who owns a hot air balloon, who takes a group of children across Europe to teach them about history and geography. It's written in script format, and my friend Chantal and I can't help but imagine all of the children wearing monocles. <laughs> How droll it sounds to hear people talk French. It really seems to me as if they were only jabbering and making faces at each other. Skim by Mariko Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki. This is a fantastic graphic novel. I know it targets a teen demographic, but everyone should read this book. It deals with topics such as suicide, depression, love, sexuality, popularity, and manipulative peers, and it does so in a very real and heartfelt way. In fact, I should have mentioned this in my book discussion video. Skims had a lot of well-deserved hype and well-deserved awards, and its blue spine is just very lovely. At the Full and Change of the Moon by Dion Brand. Dion Brand is also a poet, so her novels have a very lyrical style to them. As you can see, I bookmarked many quotes in this one, and that's the closest I could get to an indigo book on my shelves. Star Rangers by Andre Norton. This was the first proper science fiction book I ever read. I even did a book report on this book. I loved it so much. It pits two telepaths against each other. And there's some pretty rad alien species. And it's one of my few books that I actually love how bashed and worn and colored it all is. And it's Andre Norton, people. And her book fulfills the purple spine requirement. Group shot, everyone. Once again, if you have a booktube channel and you've not yet shown us your rainbow book spines, then I tag you. Signing off.